Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. We are going to discuss about the topic can India move forward without Chinese goods. China accounts for 10.6% of India's trade. Whereas India accounts for 2.1% of Chinese trade. That means we are more depending upon China rather than China depending upon India. China is world's factory and it is the largest trade partners of many countries. So if we impose a boycott and if China retaliate by boycotting Indian goods, definitely Indian economy would be more uh, affected rather than Chinese economy. And in the recent days, we see that there's a spike in Chinese investment. We can see a large presence of Chinese telecom industry in our country, whether it is Huawei or Xiaomi. Then if you look at um, the Chinese visitors in India, we can see that approximately 2.5 lakh Chinese come to India every year, whereas 8 lakh Indians visit China every year. That means there is a flow of currency from India to China. Then with regard to trade deficit, we can see that trade deficit for India with China amounts to 56.77 billion dollars in 2019, which is huge. That means we are over depend upon Chinese goods and it's time we should think about reducing our dependence on China. Then there are two kinds of arguments that is whether we could uh, replace Chinese goods with Indian goods. One, uh, some of the people argue that it's time to replace while some argue that it is not the time we are weaker in our own sectors so that we can't replace Chinese goods. So we are going to look at both the arguments. First of all, we are looking at the argument that is we need to depend on Chinese goods for more. That is, you all know that India is uh, having weakness in our manufacturing sector. Every country prospers in this way, that is from agrarian economy to a manufacturing sector, then they will jump to the service sector. But as far as India is concerned, we have jumped from agriculture sector to service sector. Our manufacturing sector is too weak. So it is a structural weakness of India's economy. That is our manufacturing sector is too weak. And because of that, we need to depend upon these Chinese goods. Then few of them argue that if we are reducing the import of Chinese goods, it will definitely affect demand supply curve. That is supply will be reduced. Definitely the demand will increase which will leads to inflation if there is an inflation goods who will be more affected definitely the low low income people and the downtrodden in the society will be affected more if there is an inflation due to reduce in imports of chinese goods okay then the another argument is that why are indian customers preferring chinese goods it is because chinese goods are cheaper why these chinese goods are cheaper it is because Chinese government is giving more subsidy for this producers. For example, I am producing a product and if the cost of production is 50 rupees, if government is giving subsidy of 30 rupees, then the overall cost of production reduced to 20 rupees. So it is, so it is profitable for me to sell it at rupees 25. If government is not giving subsidy, what will happen? My cost of production is 50. I need to sell it at 55 or 60. So if government gives more subsidy, that means I could profitably sell at a lower cost. So we want to think why Chinese goods are cheaper. It is because of more governmental subsidies, because of their advanced technology, because of bulk production. So because of cheapness of these Chinese goods, Indian customers buy more Chinese goods rather than Indian goods. Then with regard to supply of raw materials, we all know that India is um, 
well developed in our pharmaceutical sector but we still depend upon a raw material that is active pharmaceutical ingredient we are over depend on active pharmaceutical ingredient from china then the next argument is with regard to chinese investment if chinese companies are coming to india if they are investing more definitely it will create more jobs if you are boycotting chinese goods what will happen Chinese investor will definitely move back from India and it will hamper growth of India there will be reduced job creation in the India so in that way it will hamper indian economy that is the one side of argument with regard to um, chinese goods whether indian goods are uh, can be replaced by chinese goods that is the one side of argument we have uh, we have discussed now next we are going to discuss about china's aggressive policy as a indian citizen we should always aware of china's uh, aggressive policies first one we are going to look is dumping of goods china is famous for dumping of goods it will dump many of the chinese goods at a lower cost if china dump uh, its products at a lower cost in other countries what will happen it hampers it the local production suppose uh, i am manufacturer pen and if i am selling the pen at uh, rupees 10 and if china is dumping pens at rupees 2 most probably uh, people will buy the cheaper goods then what happen it hampers my production and i will be wiped out from the market okay so because of the dumping of goods it had created a great competition to the local producers and many of the countries are aware of this and many of the countries imposed anti dumping duties on chinese goods then second aggressive policy is currency manipulation okay if the currency is depreci if currency depreciates what happen exports becomes more cheaper and there will be increase in exports okay china is uh, deliberately manipulating its currency to enhance exports to make its exports cheaper then third is debt trap policy that is china will give uh, debts to many asian countries many african countries and these countries become unable to repay the debt then what china will do china will take over major ports strategic location of this african and asian countries so this is another aggressive policy of china to enhance its influence in other countries then we can see the assertiveness of china in south china sea then recently uh, in newspaper we have read about what is happening in hong kong so china is showing its assertiveness in hong kong hong kong was actually uh, till 1997 uh, under british administration then the britain hand over it to china in 1997 and they follow a policy of one country two system now china is enhancing its assertiveness uh, in hong kong and recently we are aware of what has happened in galwan valley this shows the china's aggressive policies then there were many agri- uh, arguments what are the wh- why china is uh, showing such kind of aggression in borders one of the argument put forward by experts is that uh, there is opposition within the communist party of china because of covid 19 and government's failures in many fields so in order to suppress those opposition and to turn the attention of the people china is focusing on border border issues that is one of the argument that is put forward by few experts okay now we are moving to the uh, another argument that is this is time to reduce chinese goods the time has reached where we should promote our own production we need to uh, support indigenous producers 
okay we need to reduce our over dependence upon china over dependence upon china is actually a strategic weakness and it's time we need to support our indigenous producers we need to attain self sufficiency in manufacturing you all are aware that the electronics electronics parts and electronics goods we are over depend upon china and still our indian goods cannot compete with chinese goods with regard to electronics um, electronics uh, components or electronic goods but we can replace chinese goods in kitchen items handbags toys of children food wear fashion apparel etc so we should be conscious in which which chinese goods should be replaced with indian goods so we should have an awareness in which all um, products we will replace chinese goods with indian goods then what is the way forward way forward is government should give much support to reduce the cost of production government should give much subsidies government should uh, to government should improve the infrastructure with regard to logistics as well as transportation so that cost of production can be reduced government came forward with uh, make in india program and we need to further enhance the uh, make in india program and uh, we aspire uh, to enhance the percentage of uh, contribution from manufacturing sector to our gdp to 25 percentage by 2025 so uh, it is very much required to, uh, for india at this stage to improve its manufacturing sector government should uh, improve its policy with regard to labor taxation etc so that it could support many of the msme medium and small scale sectors so that we could replace chinese goods with indian goods second thing is the as a uh, indian citizen we should be conscious about china's uh, intrusion into indian market and we should consciously support indian consumers we should be aware of china's dumping policies and as a customer we should be mindful of who produce it and where it is produced while we are purchasing while we are purchasing we should look who produce it and where it is produced for example a foreign company uh, may produce in produce an item in india so that it's actually supports uh, job creation in india as well as they have must have used raw materials from india so where it is produced is also important okay we all know we have uh, followed a policy of boycott of british goods during our freedom struggle it was a challenge during those days but we still move forward with boycotting british goods and it hampered britain economically and politically those days and now it's time indian citizens should take a stand with regard to chinese goods for the sake of diplomatic harmony government may not um, impose sanctions on chinese goods we are also a member of world trade organization so that we cannot impose tariff and non tariff barriers on chinese goods then who should reduce uh, consumption of chinese goods in india it is we the consumers in india should take a stand to should take a decision that is strong enough so that we can support our indigenous production in this country small steps often turns into a great leap so when we are purchasing goods let us uh, consciously make small small changes in the preference of goods we purchase that will indeed make greater difference in the coming days that's all for today Thank you.